All right, so I'm checking into my hotel, made it to Cali. Time to go hit up uh, the COVID checks and check out the con. Man, this place is more secure than the TSA. Yeah, where I walked in from, there were a lot of merchandise. You know, it felt like a little swap meet, uh, t-shirts, uh, hats, uh, a lot of the stuff didn't look licensed. So I was surprised they were selling it. You know, there was all these action figures, the old power of the force. You know, I saw cups and tippy marks and there's some pictures and autographs. So a lot of these are going for a lot of money, you know, it's Star Wars celebration price. This one's cool because it has a ton of signatures on it. And uh, even the podcast, everybody that's listening to it, also can check it out. And here is a toy shop that just has a lot of old vintage stuff that is just so expensive. I think that job was going for like nine grand. Just insane, some of these prices. Here you see some of the classic sideshow pieces and gentle giant pieces. Of course, that con prices uh, I think this booth is rebel scum so a lot of good stuff master replicas and you know like I said side show demo giant pretty dope Here we got the dark ink booth lots of cool artwork some of this stuff is available on Sideshow.com, probably at a cheaper price. I've uh, seen some of these, these con prices are like triple, quadruple the price. Yeah, this Rancor is dope. Um, I think it was, was sold out on the Sideshow site, and this one is still available here for like $40 something. Dollars. So it's a, it's a good price. And then here we got the prop store, showing off some of their displays. Uh, there's a Screamers x wing so it has the full line in it, and I put the pieces on for the nose. Here's a fun view of it. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, here we have the Diamond Select General Giant booth. Uh, just doing a quick run through of it. I wish the, the window or the plastic on that was a little bit cleaner. Kind of hard to get a good picture of it. A lot of cool pieces coming out. Some of these are on pre-order. Some of them are available on the site right now. There's that Kotobukiya Darth Maul that I gave it a review on. And there's that 1-6 scale Kobe one And here's some of their half-scale bust. Uh, pretty good in person. That Cad Bane looks sick. And also this uh, Grogu on that rock looks pretty big. And then here's the rest of them. Uh, a lot of these look good, you know better than they did in, in the product shots. And here's their like the Kenner jumbo size line. That uh, Ralph McQuarrie looks dope. And here at the side show booth, you can see the one out of one Aztec Boba uh, Fett there. Thing looks really good in person. And here's uh, just some random walkthroughs with the uh, uh, Mandalorian. It looks really good in person. Uh, the color, I think in my opinion, could have been better. Uh, it looks too gray, too plasticky. But uh, it does look good. I mean, there's a lot of uh, prequel stuff. Oh my god, it's insane the number of stuff that Hot Toys produce here. I'm not gonna go for this stuff. I'm trying to actually downsize from prequel collecting. Like, pretty dope stuff in the works. No, that's not Commander Cody. That's a clone Commander. Okay, I'm gonna, I thought I Commander Cody. It's awesome to hear all the conversations in the background, people you know, get excited over the stuff and then it's funny seeing them react to the price points because they don't understand like the quality of these figures and you know, how expensive they are. Chilling in the sideshow booth. Look who I found. Oh, what's up? <laughs> COVID was more real than that thing, dude. Yeah. That thing's ever coming out. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it does? Yeah, they, they already started charging me for it. Really? Yeah, I might have to order that. It is good.
But here's the effects booth, and here is uh, armor they have on display. Looks pretty good. Um, I think it's a little dull. And uh, here's the EFX Boba Fett 40th anniversary. Man, I think it's badass. And there's some uh, sabers they're coming out with. And then the Melted Vader, so Oli the Goody. And then we have a Death Trooper prototype. Uh, Brian Ono said they're going to add some uh, lenses to it and some lights to make it look red. So that looks dope. And then the Boba Fett again, trying to get a better shot of it. And then uh, the back side of it. So these, these chrome ones are pretty cool buckets. And then here we got the, um, the PCR and the fiberglass. And, you know, one of the, the guys that was showing us the differences. And here chilling at the Regal Robot booth. Uh, get a chance to hit up Tom and his team. A very good job with you know, the products they got there. This Tuscan Raider 1-1 scale box is dope. And then the Max Rebo. Uh, they're, they're almost sold out of those, so Tom had to reduce the sales. And then pauses anywhere, but here he has a gaffy stick that he's coming out with uh, later this year. And then lunchtime. All right, back at it. So this time just looking for cosplayers. Uh, probably just shoot cosplayers going forward and look uh, at the booths later just so much and then here is the cell, cell was it galaxy stage or whatever the hell stage is but we got Filoni and Favreau there and then waiting for the Katie Sackoff signature and then we got a life-size probe droid we got a better picture of that later and then back to Katie Sackoff on stage talking about her I cornered Dave fun times with the Mandalorian and I said so I hear about the show Mandalorian and my character is not dead. So, um, how good of friends are we? <laughs> and some more cosplayers. You see some of the best cosplay here. And then here's the Hasbro booth to uh, reveal Vader. Man, I think he's badass. Didn't realize it was going to be that good of quality. And got some more cosplayers here. 332nd Troopers. And then here's the, the new Novo um, booth. So I did an IG live stream on that, so I'm trying to figure out what happened to that video. But here is just some close-ups of some of the helmets they have on display. The, the Phase uh, 2 Clone Trooper helmet looks dope, and then they got this one as well. The 501st Infantry. And then here's Han Solo. Some more cosplayers. Some Revan. Look how good the Disney one looks. Oh yeah, it's nice. Mm -hmm. That one looks dope. What is this? I think it's a Republic uh, Jedi. Oh, okay. I think anyway. Oh yeah. What oh, did you? Excuse me. 